When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Paul Stanley. When the star child he make, oh the pizza it's great, that's Paul Stanley. Ba -da -ba -da -bing, ba -da -ba -da. This guy's happy because he's a Kiss fan, he can prove it with that Kiss shirt. You know, everyone's always going at me saying, why are you always picking on Paul? Stop picking on him. As I, as I says to myself, you know, I don't think that I'm really picking on him. I'm, I'm just fascinated with him. P Paul's going to make a pizza for us. Uh, it's as simple as that. We're not critiquing him on anything else. His guitar playing, his, vo his voice, or nothing else. Paul Stanley's going to make us a pizza, okay? It's as simple as that. So let's get into this wonderful video. We are going to start and stop it. Um, this is the intro part. I wanted to get into it about right here and see what happens. We got to cut out because Judy back at the news desk, she keeps piping in. And um, we really want to get to the pizza making. So let's see what happens here. Uh, my man Paul Stanley was making a pizza. How often do you have yeah. a rock legend making pizza? I do it at home a lot. So <laughs> why shouldn't I do it in our restaurant? Well, this is your new home, Paul. This is a rock and bruise and that's Paul Stanley right back there. They says when Paul Stanley comes in here today, we need Paul Stanley on those screens. Uh, one thing I'll say right off the bat is he's the reporter guy, and of course you know that's Paul Stanley. Let's talk about the embracing, because he's got his arm up over his shoulder there, and he's got the hand open, so he's moving the hand. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, there's nothing for this guy to do. He's holding the microphone. He can't just simply dangle his hand behind him. It's too awkward. So now he has to cradle or caress Paul's lower back where he's got that that uh, tramp stamp he's on his lower back that says star child on it uh, but uh, so he's already shown his dominance I put the arm up over you have to put it down here meaning I am the the, the alpha male this is well Albuquerque's always been home but to be here for rock and bruise is something very special because this is a restaurant. Who's this lady? Jeez, she just stomping into the... Into well, this is your this. Home, Paul. Look at this lady. Well, Albuquerque's always been home, but to be here for rock and Bruise is something very special. Hey! She got right out to her car and said, oh, I was on the news. I don't know, some long-haired fella. And they were doing a story with the long-haired fella. This is a restaurant. Well, she's taking it slow. During the day, uh, they can play outside. Just because you have kids doesn't mean you have to eat cardboard macaroni That's and right. cheese. You can come here, have a great meal. We've got beers from, oh gosh, usually about 100 different beers, craft beers, microbreweries, and food that I wish uh, most people could have at home because you'd never leave. That's right, absolutely. Well, I Because got... you'd never leave. I, I, I get side focused on that hand. Is that hand keeps about a hundred different beers, craft beers, microbreweries, and food. See and look at it. He's nestled in. He's nestled in, and he's like, "Yeah, yes, Paul. Yeah." Dad, I wish uh, most people could have it home. I want to eat Paul's pizza. That's right, absolutely. Well, I got a feeling Kenny and I are not leaving. We're going to hang out here. Uh, we're going to have a lot more coming up this morning. We're going to be making a. See, and there's the fist, the fist of fury. This man started to take his hand off the lower back where the Star Child stamp, stamp tramp is. Tramp stamp. Fist. Fist of fury. I am angry. Put your hand back in that submissive position. Hi. We are going to make a pizza. And, uh, it's a pizza pie. Throw it up. And the, the thing is, anybody can throw it up, but can you catch it? That's, that's the thing that I can't master. So you're going to have to teach me. We're going to be talking more about the food, guys. The lineup of this food is incredible. So more to come. Don't go anywhere. But for right now, we're going to send it back over to Brittany in the studio. Brittany. Today is the grand opening of Rock and Brews in the Heights. And Chad Brummett is out this morning live for the grand opening. Take it's a grand old day. And the grand on the Rock and Brews. And it's a grand old day. She's got a nice smile, though. I bet those teeth could take out a piece of pizza. Two bites. Two bites. And then this guy's going to talk to the guy that doesn't know anything about Kiss. What does he say? He says something. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Hi, Brittany. Good morning, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, Chad. I'm here in rock and roll heaven. This place is mind-blowing. You walk in, the ambiance is just overwhelming, especially if you're like me, you were a kid of the 80s. And they got some grunge up there, too. Here with my man, Matt uh, McMahon, who is Matt the McMahon. manager here at Rock and Brew. You guys have been really busy. I gotta tell you, everyone that has been in thus far loves this place. Tell us about this restaurant. Well, 
what restaurant can you ever walk into and see rock and roll of, of history? Hard Rock Cafe. Anyways, let's get pizza pie time. Let's see. Uh, Brittany, lead us off. Brittany, yeah. I think, okay, so it's hard to nail down what my one favorite kiss moment is. I remember when I first saw these guys, when I was a young kid in the makeup, I was scared to death, especially of Gene Simmons. He, he, yeah, you too. But, but now I got to tell you. Now, Paul's already pounding out the dough. Now, I haven't seen this video, so I don't know if he's going to do that. You know, he bragged, He was a big braggart there, and he was talking about how he's going to spin it up in the air, and he can catch it. All so memories of that's it. Trump, uh, big mouth. This morning, because I'm making pizza with Paul Stanley. Paul, thank you for being here with us this morning and being here in Albuquerque. It's great to be here. Albuquerque has always been a great city for us, and uh, honestly, we've been here many times, and it's the perfect location for this kind of restaurant, some place where you can bring spin the, the kids spin the pie, Paul. Great meal. You don't have to eat crappy food, you can actually have a great time, kids can play outside, you can bring your pets, and uh, beers from around the world, all kinds of great, okay, let's great see food. It. You said 100 craft beers, is that right? Yeah, we tend to have around 100 craft beers and microbrewery beers, and then we try to uh, make sure that we bring in local produce. Uh, spin that pie, spin that pie, Paul, spin that pie. Chilies, which are, you know, green chilies, that's what you gotta, you gotta have. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. Ooh, that's tasty looking. Is that potato salad? You don't need French fries if you have potato salad. Yeah, I put that on my pizza a lot. So you're making a pizza. How long have you been doing pizza? You look like you know what, do, you know what you're doing here. Yeah, I, I like making pizza. I like Let's see it. I, I want to see you spin it. That I started cooking. Um, like a lot of people, you know, when you get divorced, all of a sudden you, you realize, wait a minute, my children have to eat. My, <laughs> and back then my son had to eat three meals a day. Oh, because it's the woman's job, right, Paul? It's the wife's job to feed the children. I don't think I so. Cooking. Yeah. So, uh, here's spin the pie, Paul. Pizza. Great pizza dough. And, All right. You know, you take it. There you go. And you, you want to flip it and you use the gravity to get it to be, be nice and thin. And you're catching it on the top of your hands as well. Yeah, you want to. I mean, he's not bad at it. Catch it on top. You want to try to keep it nice and round. All right. So we're going to make a margarita. I mean, pizza. Uh, okay. I, 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 I admit when I'm wrong. I absolutely admit when I'm wrong because that looks like a pizza pie. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He's going to spin that pie. He did it. So, oh, it's one of my favorites. And it's really, really nice. And we use great ingredients. So here we've got like a garlic butter. So we're going to... we got like a garlic butter. You just splooge that garlic butter all over your pizza. You can put it in a star shape if you want. You can do whatever you want with your garlic butter. Put some of that on. That's going to melt. I, I wouldn't be able to help myself from saying, this pizza will make you uh, all night. We've got some great tomatoes, which we'll put on. Sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. As many as you want. And all the food here. As many as you want. For this guy or for anyone? Do you tell them back there at the Rock and Bruce, you say, I would like 47 dried tomatoes on my pizza, please. I mean, we really emphasize great food. It's comfort food, but at the same time, it's great quality food. Yeah. He has fresh mozzarella. I love that shirt, too. He's wearing the rock and bruise, but it's buttoned down. He's like, I'm going to put a little tie on. So they can still see the hair and stuff to know I'm a sexy man. We this is cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. You know, I think what's also great about your menu, Paul, is that you've got a very diverse menu. You've got a little something. One thing I'll say is he's not, it's not. Yeah. Maybe a little more health conscious, or if you want to be. What's this claw over here doing? This one's scared to get in on the cheese action. This one's over here just clomping it all over and not really doing it with any kind of, uh, uh, you know, evenness. This claw right here that he's got is just going dumpy town on this pizza. This hand over here is too scared to get involved with that, that hand. He's saying, oh, this hand over here thinks he's going to be the mozzarella guy, so I'll just sit back and wait. Be like me and just indulge. Yeah, what, you know, everybody's got to enjoy life. Every once in a while, I agree, Paul. Go crazy. The burgers here are absolutely off the hook. Yeah. But I find myself eating a lot of times great salads. We have great salads. Here's another mozzarella cheese. So we want to mix it up. So okay. Two, are there two different types, yeah. or are they just cut different? No, they're two different types. Two one's, types. A, okay. one's a fresh mozzarella. So then we're one's a fresh mozzarella. The other one's really old and 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 damn near gone bad. We're gonna put a little bit more on. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you want to. Add a little bit of fresh basil. Mm -hmm. I like put a bunch of fresh basil on there. You got your garlic butter and your basil. 
So I've actually grown basil at the house. So, yeah. You, you know, said you got a big uh, outdoor oven at your house. Yeah. You, you do pizzas a lot there? Do pizzas, do steaks, do... He says, which house? Mr. Reporter, Chad, what are you per referring to? Which house? All of my houses have outdoor ovens. Uh, burgers, you know, fish, whatever. Mm. So then let's put a little bit more on just to make sure that we, instead yeah. of... Instead of olive oil, we'll put a little bit more garlic butter. Up. Put a little garlic butter. Come on, don't be chintzy with the garlic butter, Paul. Come on, Paul. Garlic butter, that sounds fantastic. No. Garlic butter. Into the oven. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what it looks like. See, what they usually do on the cooking shows, this guy's been sticking his fingers in it and digging at it and doing whatever because he's just nervous. So he's been dipping those fingers in all the, the side of that pie over there. But this is a fresh one that Paul handcrafted, but it's uncooked. But what Paul did before, what we didn't see on screen, is that Paul had made one of those with the fresh garlic butter and the basil and the dried uh, tomatoes and the two different kinds of mozzarella. Once are really fresh and one's almost going bad. And then they cooked it. And so you got a before kind of situation and an after. And it comes out looking, looking like, like this. this. That's fantastic. And it's, it really is fantastic pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Very full stomach, folks. I can guarantee you that. Ribs, ribs that are off the hook. Great barbecue. He he's off the hook. Paul, you can't use that to cut the ribs. That's a cake. That's a cake slice picker upper or pizza slice picker upper. Don't use that to cut those ribs. You know everything here. Here's a great burger. I love the burgers. We've got awesome. He loves pork. burgers. Uh, tacos. Those tacos actually do look good. Ooh, is that a ceviche or is that not a ceviche but a, a pico de gallo? What's that, Paul? What's in there? Is that fresh blueberries? If you're good and you eat your salad, <laughs> then you get a chance to have beignets. Beignets are uh, a fried pastry dough Ooh. that are filled with chocolate. That's real. Oh, good. God, that sounds delightful. That's a Bloody Mary. Not the stuff that you get out of a can that's like shaving cream. This is real whipped cream. And we have these great pretzels. These pretzels are absolutely off the hook. I love a good pretzel. A beer cheese that's got... Oh, beer cheese? Um, hmm. Shallots in it, garlic, uh, beer, different kinds of cheeses. And we have a spicy mustard that'll clear out your sinus just in case they're bothering you. Paul, I gotta tell you, I love kind of that spicy, that that uh, that horseradish kind of clear out your sinus when he's talking about clearing out the sinuses. I love horseradish because it's deli it clears the sinus or wasabi. I put wasabi and horseradish in the same family. A, a great, great Bloody Mary. Uh -huh. Not only does I bet that's a margarita. I bet Paul's gonna say that's a margarita. It look great. It tastes great. And uh, our margaritas. Are crazy. Our yeah. margaritas are, are. We like margaritas here in New Mexico. Listen, you eat when you have one of our margaritas, you'll be fucking and sucking all night long. I'll tell you what, baby cakes, Chad, you're gonna just you'll shit yourself. You you will just shit yourself. And have a great time with it. Trust me on that. We also like things spicy, so I think you guys are doing right by New Mexico already. Well, you know, we like to salute the area. Whenever we go into an area, we want to be rock and brews and keep our identity, but we also want to bring in the flavors of the uh, area and make sure that we tip our hat to the food that you love. So I think that's a good idea, Paul. One thing, one complaint I have with Paul is uh, he's not a true chef, and the reason for that is he didn't taste anything. He hasn't tasted anything. He goes. He talks about how they're smoking hot burgers and this and that. He hasn't tasted anything yet. You get everything that we love. That's not a true so chef. So make sure that we acknowledge you. Yeah. And then uh, you know, again, we we tend to make sure that we spotlight uh, any kind of. And that claw's still sitting there. Doesn't want to do anything. This hand's going crazy. It's put the mozzarella on the dry the, the dried tomatoes. It's been doing all the work. This one's just sitting there. Local causes wounded warriors are something that are dear to our hearts those people who make liberty and freedom something we take that is wonderful here. i do those like that go overseas and risk everything for us so we try to uh, make sure that we raise money for them yeah. and acknowledge them yeah, and you guys doing a big thing for them tonight we're going to get more information about that when we come back we're talking to Brittany. james simmons uh and i gotta tell you guys i cheated don't let paul know this i cheated and tried the beignet awesome 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 don't let paul don't don't guys don't let paul know
Paul says, you stupid son of a bitch. I was listening to you the whole time. You can't hide anything from me. And I saw that one of the beignets was missing from the plate. You, Chad, you're a horrible liar. Um, is he going to try with... the pizza? Yeah, hey, you didn't have to point that out. <laughs> Stay with us. We're going to head back into Brittany. Well, today is the grand opening of Rock and Brews in the High. Okay. Well, he didn't eat the pizza, but I did have another uh, bit here that I wanted to get into because I think he does try the pizza here. But the clip that I saw of Paul, and this is at another Rock and Brews, um, St. Louis Rock and Brews. That would, the other one was in New Mexico, but he's made it to St. Louis now. And uh, he was going to mention something about um, his mother come, having to. Uh, I mean, I think he's eating a slice of pizza. They're talking about his mother having to escape Germany during the... People sometimes think that freedom is free, and it's only free for the people who don't have to pay the price. Oh, he's still... Pays, uh, look, my mom had to leave Germany, fled Germany, went on to Amsterdam, finally made it to America. Other people weren't so fortunate. The U.S. Army, the U.S. military has always gone in and saved other countries. When those people come back here after volunteering to go overseas, they don't get what they deserve. And look at that. We can There's Jean just pounding a burger. She's looking over going, we got some, we got some Jews. She doesn't even want to eat that slice of pizza. What's your deal, lady? Do you have a serious issue? I'm just kidding. He's been tearing into that burger the whole time. I mean, he was, I mean, you can see how much of it's gone. He's been laying into it. He's got a mouthful right now can be a great restaurant at the same time really enlighten people to their obligations to take care of the military because the government always kind of fails in one way or another these people volunteer to go oh Gene's just going man I got to clear the hamburger out of my teeth because I got plenty to say on this these subjects that'd be weird to be a news reporter and you got to just sit there and listen to someone talk it'd be fun to be doing the part where you're going and Bob we're here at the burning building yes there's still people trapped inside but then when you got to listen to like a survivor or someone that's like oh god it was horrifying in there you're like yeah, get on to it so I can get back to me and the microphone shit uh, but what say you Brittany Hi. hello Brittany Oh, let's not do... Oh, we don't need to do Gene. Let's go back here to this. That's a good shot right there. He's got microphone up, claw down, mozzarella going on. What say you? Have you ever been to Rock and Brews? Are they still open? I'd love to taste the burgers. And he says that I could bring my, my, my pets. I have an uh, alligator that I'd like to bring in there and just let loose in the, in the, in the, the restaurant. Uh, but I'd like to hear from you on Rock and Brews, and uh, if you've ever tasted a pizza pie made by the hands of the Star Child, swing it out! Loving you so much. <clears throat> when you work all day and you don't know why Paul Stanley gonna make you a mozzarella pie, you eat it down, then you go to bed, and then when you're sleeping, Paul Stanley will come and give you.